Hey gang, so we're gonna talk with you a little bit today about red dots and comparing three uh, different red dots in particular. We have a couple RMRs and we have a Romeo 1 Pro, so two different types of uh, a red dot. So, yeah, the cuts, the, the footprints on it. So, uh, let's talk a little bit about that. But first, which would you say is the most rugged uh, uh, red dot that what exists but is available right here in front of us? Uh, I think the Trijicon RMR, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Trijicon RMR, uh, was used in the military for a long time. I've used it as well. Um, I've seen this mounted on machine guns. I've seen this mounted on pistols. I've seen this mounted on AR-15s or uh, M4s, M16s that get jumped, jogged around all over the place. Oh, yeah. And I b believe it or not, right, maybe that's just me, I have yet to see a Trijicon RMR crack based on the fact that it, get, it hits the side of the housing right here. Yeah. Right, obviously, unless you hit the glass, it's different. Different story. Yeah, so this one, I genuinely have not seen uh, Trijicon RMR crack the glass just by simply dropping it, yes. right? Um, second to that would be Romeo 1. Yeah, yeah Romeo so one. talk Romeo about it. So I, I agree, um, you know, I, I've seen uh, Trijicon just in general, as far as the ruggedness, having used their ACOGs and things like that, you can beat the tar out of them and they, they're not gonna break. Uh, so that one hands down is the most rugged. Now the second one here uh, is the Six Hour Romeo One Pro, okay? And that one is now a different footprint, so it's a different style of red dot. Uh, but this one here uh, is, I would say the second most rugged of the three here. And I mean, I've been running this one for the last couple of years. I have beaten the snot out of this red dot. Uh, the, the gun has dropped, it has hit the ground. This has hit its uh, housing and, and the glass has not broken, thankfully. Just knock on wood there. Uh, but as far as ruggedness goes, it certainly has been put through the ringer and, and been tested. Now, um, I would say in comparison to the, uh, to the Trijicon RMR, um, it's not going to be as rugged, okay? Uh, but uh, it is certainly a very close second in that department. One thing about that too is that they actually sell, like, I wouldn't say an adapter plate, but it's a plate that you put yes. in between the pistol and the dot where it has a protective, um, right. a metal, metal protective shield on it, right? Right, and, and, that, and that's, that's a good point because right, yeah. I've been running it without that, that housing. Um, so if I did run it with the housing, it'd just be, you know, yeah, it'd be uh, more rugged, if you will. Now, granted, it would take up more space, which is not something that I want. Uh, but how that works is it actually works as a plate that goes underneath the, uh, the, the dot itself. And then that housing slips around. So you have basically a metal frame that goes around the red dot to further protect it. But the, uh, the, the core housing of it is indeed rugged in itself. And then the third one would be the Hawson, right? And by all means, this is not the least reliable red no. dot out there. Uh, this is actually really, really rugged when you think about it, right? Uh, especially for the price that you get the Hawsons yes. nowadays. Um, but as, as much as I want to praise Hawson all day long, I have seen Hawsons crack yep. um, just by hitting the side of, of the, what is it called? The housing. Of the housing, right? So I think I've, happened, I've seen it happen two times. I just found out Ernie has actually done it, one. <laughs> done it himself. So, um, and that's from regular use. I think uh, one time I had one of my Marines had an Hawson, right? And it was literally just jogging around inside a Humvee and it cracked. Mm -hmm. I had another Hawson that was dropped as he was running a drill, yep. it dropped, hit a rock on the side. You could see it because the gash was right here and it cracked immediately into the glass. And then I don't know what was yours, how you guys did it. Uh, same thing, we were, we were, no, yeah, I was hammering something. No, yeah. uh, we, were, we were training and the, uh, the, the gun dropped. And so there you go, yeah. uh, so, same thing. Not to say that that cannot happen in, on the other optics here, but uh, in all honesty, the Holosense is the most common one I've seen in the training that has cracked glass. Yeah. So. Now, again, don't get us wrong. The, the hollow so sun is, is very reliable. Uh, and uh, I even use it on some of my EDC firearms because in an everyday carry situation, yeah, every, everyday carry situation, it is a perfectly good uh, RMR to have. Now, the, when we talk about ruggedness, we're talking about uh, beyond your everyday usage, your average Joe usage. So, so you hear us talking about guns dropping and banging here. And you might be thinking, what the heck are you guys doing? Are you that bad or this or that? No, it's, it's that, you know, if you are training past the envelope of your, of your abilities and you're pushing yourself and things like that, you push beyond failure and things. And so uh, whether you're moving around, uh, gear just fails. 
Uh, so guns drop uh, or they get hit on things. So when it comes to ruggedness, that is a factor. And that's what the uh, military uses and why they go with the, uh, the, the Trijicon because they're accounting for all that as well. Yeah, but sometimes this may be an overkill for most people. Right. Remember this and that is twice the price of this. That. So that's why I EDC this one, not necessarily because it's less rugged, it's just that I don't find myself banging left and right in a, in a Humvee. Uh, right. On my regular day. Well, actually, you know what? Depends if I buy a Humvee. <laughs> right. But all right. So. Brendan, the flashback ninja. Yeah, you know what, dude? Yeah, I should buy a Humvee. Yeah. <laughs> so. Driver Huggies. Okay. Let's, let's, second one yeah. is uh, battery, battery life. life. Yes. Yep. So the battery life. So uh, the battery life on the Trijicon is what? Five years. Five years, 50,000 hours. Yes. Right, 50,000 hours. Yeah. So five years. You essentially can uh, put this uh, on, leave it on. Five years, you're good. Right? So you have a lot more reliable uh, battery life on that one. Um, now the battery life on something like uh, the 6 Hour Romeo 1 Pro, uh, I believe is 20, 25,000 hours. Uh, so it's going to be roughly half, so two, two and a half years. I've been running this thing for, again, the better part of two years, um, and the battery has been going strong. Uh, now this has Shake Awake, so if you are running EDC, then the battery life is going to last a little bit. Uh, less than if you were just say using it at the range putting it away and so on and so forth uh, So understand that shake awake options uh, Will actually run the, the battery life uh, shorter. So there you have that and then you have Hollow Sun. Yeah, battery so life battery life Hallson is quote-unquote at 50,000 hours as yep, well, yep. but it does have uh, The solar the solar feature on it. Uh, solar feature. I believe this one um, one it it functions two ways, right? One, this functions as an ability for the dot to adjust up and down depending mm -hmm. on lighting. Super unreliable, don't do it. And then second one is the sun takes over the battery power when mm -hmm. you're outside. Right. So technically they say 50,000 hours with the solar power, but I don't know how, how that is, right? If you're only using the hall sun, let's say at indoors. At indoors, or let's say you're a police officer and you're, you're doing um, night ops for night or you're doing night shifts, for five, okay, you're doing that just for five years. Sucks for you, man. <laughs> but um, if you're doing that just for five years, I don't know if this will last five years, but it did say 50,000 hours with the help of its, uh, what do you call that, uh, solar feature. Yep. But I've had this for about a year and a half. Hasn't died yet. You said you had that for two years. Yep. This is going on for four years now, right? Same and the one. battery hasn't died yet. Okay, so we'll see how long it's passed. I'm, and at this point, since I don't carry it, I'm just riding it out until it dies. So right, right. We'll, we'll see how long it actually is. Right. Now, another thing is the ease with which you can replace the battery. Because on yeah. the, uh, the Trijicon, in order to, to replace the battery, you actually yeah. have to dismount the RMR, which is a pain because if you have it zeroed in and dialed in, you have to actually take it off. Uh, replace the battery and then re-zero your your uh, uh, optic there. Now on the Romeo One Pro, I think that this one has the easiest uh, battery change option here because all you have to do is unscrew the cap on the top, uh, replace your battery, screw it back in, and that's toolless. No tools required, right? And that uh, one? you just need a little flathead. Okay. And yep. Same thing with this one. The the battery is right here. Um, you can replace it. So um, I didn't even think about that in the yeah. comparison. Yeah. Hundred percent. This is definitely hard to replace batteries on. But it, by the way, it shouldn't go five years between the time that you're checking your zero on your firearm. So just FYI. It now, another uh, factor there, another comparison apart from battery life, ruggedness is? Um, glass clarity, right? right. Um, glass clarity in a sense that there's not a lot of you or there's not a lot of, of shades that you see. Um, and I think one that takes it home surprisingly is the Holosun, this one. Yeah. Holosun actually has the clearest lens out there in a sense that it's it's like looking just to straight glass, yes. right? It doesn't have That's any, it. there's a, no tint on it. And at the same time, somehow, I have bad astigmatism. Somehow I find the Holosun dot clearer, right? Um, versus uh, Trijicon RMR. Now it's not fair because we have a 6MOA dot here, mm -hmm. so that's going to be clear. But for me, in between these two, as much as I love the Trijicon, right, and I trust my life with it, this dot looks clear for mm -hmm. some reason. Uh, and it may be because of the glass that they use that helps people with astigmatism a little bit. Perhaps. Yeah. Um, now this one has a blue uh, hue or tint to it, and this one has the red or orange hue or tint to it. Uh, so you're going to see that 
more so in a uh, not sunny environment, so like in an overcast environment or uh, in like a regular room or something, you're going to notice uh, the uh, the tint on that. Whereas if you were running either one of these in in really like daylight, sun time or whatever, uh, it's it's really not going to matter. You're actually going to see it clear. Where actually the the uh, the Trigicon or the Six Hour Romeo One Pro were actually um, not to say outperform or it would rise to the occasion because the whole point of this is that you can look through this and not get sun glare uh, when you're looking through the glass and you can actually focus on your target, make sure the dot is, is lining up right. On another note on that one, when you're doing low light uh, training though, sometimes there are certain positions in a low light um, mm -hmm. shooting where you may not be directly pointing the light at your pistol but there's some splash into the back of the red dot yep. i found the hall center the easiest actually yes. i've also seen the romeo on really easy but god does the trigicon suck when you have a light in the back of it hitting it so yes. uh just things to consider when you are actually like i said that officer that's been a night shift for five years so yeah, that's, that's that sucks dude yeah. sucks you're Our gonna get a divorce bro <laughs> okay all right gang so that's uh, a little bit of comparison about the uh the red dots uh, again, RMR footprint, uh, Romeo 1 Pro, Delta Point Pro uh, footprint, uh, and some of the, the nuances from ruggedness, battery life, and glass clarity. One thing, though, is that this is actually a Romeo 1 Pro footprint. Mm -hmm. um, well, there's just an adapter plate. Actually. Right. Well, it is. The, the optic itself is an RMR footprint, but there's an adapter plate to facilitate the Romeo 1 yeah, footprint. I'm sure there's a way to mount all these red yes. dots and all these yes, guns. So. of course. All right, gang, so that's a little bit of comparison. I uh, hope that was helpful. And if you're deciding to buy an RMR or something like that, uh, it helps your, uh, your decision.